As we careen into the age of artificial intelligence, new questions about what kind of world will result come up every day. It's easy to predict that AI will play an increasing role in most of our lives in the coming years. But what's harder to predict is just what unforeseen peripheral developments will come along with it. So here are 10 lesser known but very real and somewhat spooky possible developments in AI. Number 10. The Life Watcher Humans have chronicled the events of their lives for a very long time. From the inscriptions of the lives and conquests of kings and queens written on tomb walls, to the tradition of keeping journals and diaries, biographies, and so on. This goes all the way to modern vlogging. Huge collections of selfies taken with our phones and so on. The idea of photo albums chronicling our lives serves as an augmentation of memory. The cell phone fulfilling the function of not only a prosthetic memory, but also a second brain. This will continue to develop. Imagine AI equipped for the next development in this long-term trend. Imagine from the moment of your birth, having a device that records everything from your birth to every book you will ever read, your education, every movie you watch, every game you play, every conversation you've ever had, all not only recorded and referenceable, but that you can have a discussion about with the AI itself. It could critique you, reinforce your viewpoint, analyze, recall, and do all manner of things with a more accurate and effective form of memory than you have. This of course will put the biography writers out of business along with no small amount of historians, but in doing that it will also open up the ultimate in those fields. Long gone would be questions of historical accuracy or legal accuracy, providing information isn't altered. People could actually take vacations living as an entirely different person. Whether living the life of a real human, say your favorite celebrity, dead or alive, but also fictional humans whose storylines are built from an amalgamation of human experience contained in the collective data ohm. While this may not be too disturbing, insofar as we already do this to a degree with movies, reenactment, and so on, it also makes it something we very likely will do and find popular. The question is what cottage industries develop, such as life sanitization to provide a bit better of a picture than it really was, or posthumous character assassination, which shows it to be worse than it really was. Only time will tell as to how that will play out. Number 9. Fever Dreams of Artificial Minds One of the more spooky aspects of the current development of artificial intelligence is that just by way of its programming, it can actually engage in delusion. This is often termed hallucination in AI, but that's actually overstating it. What they really do is conflate. So you start with an AI that has no data on something, and under certain circumstances, instead of saying it doesn't know, it essentially invents a number. This is a noted problem with the current crop of chatbots, with reports of them embedding incorrect but plausible knowledge where it finds a hole. This has even been described as sociopathic behavior while still others saying it's a problem of a lack of training data. It may simply be a matter of that, and that at some point the problem of hallucination disappears with a sufficient knowledge base and controls. But what if it doesn't, and we continue to see anomalies and irregularities with AI as it becomes increasingly capable? Could we end up with fully generalized artificial intelligence that simply hallucinates and gives sometimes correct information but sometimes incorrect information, and it might do it intentionally. That remains to be seen, but it does bring up shades of HAL 9000 in 2010, the sequel to 2001. Will I dream, Dr. Chandra? Indeed. Number 8. Test Tube Consciousness The human brain is, so far as we know, the most complex and amazing thing to exist in the universe. Emerging from the human brain is consciousness a phenomenon we do not fully understand. Producing this, at least the physicality of it, is a huge network of an average of 86 billion neurons contained in each human brain. These unbelievably complex systems so far have not been technologically duplicated in silicon. AI for all its advances is still not demonstrably conscious. The real question being, at what point does it become so? But silicon is not the only potential form of technologically produced artificial intelligence, depending on what your definition of artificial is. 
As early as 2008, researchers working in neuroscience and stem cells were able to create something called an organoid, which in essence is a miniature human brain made from cells of a particular type, being made up of typically 2-3 to three million cells. Thinking mind this was not. It's just coaxing stem cells to become brain tissue, but not arranged as a brain would be. This is unbelievably promising research. Since organoids made from heart, lung, intestinal tract, and liver tissue have been made, taking one step further towards being able to culture replacement organs. For humans, that won't suffer the problem of rejection, as donation and transplantation can do. Likewise, brain organoids have proven useful in studying Alzheimer's disease, mental illness, and even how viruses affect the brain. Even stranger, the stem cells needed to do this can actually be grown from a patient's skin cells. But there's a problem here, in that this technology can be scaled up. Right now there is a limiting factor to just how large a brain organoid can be due to a lack of blood vessels, something that's been tricky as far as development. But if that problem can be solved, then the sky appears to be the limit, allowing for a fully conscious custom grown biotechnological brain to be produced. This gets into many ethical issues, ranging from Rene Descartes' brain in a vat philosophical question to just how close to a Frankenstein-like scenario we are getting. More, even with the organoids we have now, they can already produce EEG patterns that look something like those of a preterm human. This particular issue constitutes one of the scariest avenues we could go down, not in the search for computer consciousness, but a new form of artificial biological consciousness. Number 7. 80% Unemployment one very real effect that we will see from artificial intelligence is a severe effect on the world economy with or without sapient generalized artificial intelligence. The fact is, automation in factories has gone on for a very long time, all the way back to the age of enlightenment, in fact. We've lived our entire lives under the assumption that someday very little manufacturing would be done by human hands in a factory environment, and this has held true. Indeed, many of the things we now make can't physically be made by a human, such as microprocessor wiring. But as chatbots, such as ChatGPT, have shown, AI is already capable of replacing more than just factory jobs. Obvious ones would be order takers at fast food restaurants, where you will be able to pull in, order a hamburger, and never know you were talking to an AI instead of a human, other than perhaps improved audio quality from the AI. That's coming soon as in a matter of months, but at the cost of some order taker jobs. But it's much worse than that. It can easily be envisioned that not only will AI be able to do a great many jobs, at least those that don't require physical navigation of the environment which they're still behind on. These include astrophysics, writing poetry, lawyers are in serious trouble, genealogy, code writing, and many others. Some estimates put this problem as that as much as 80% of all jobs could eventually be automated by AI. There have been futurists that have had somewhat rose-colored outlooks on just what this means. After all, if humans can turn their attention towards artistic pursuits, climbing Mount Everest, going to Mars, or whatever they wish, it's a good thing, right? And everything will be okay. We'll just try that. It would require a total reordering of the world's economic systems to avoid collapse and widespread depressions that have no immediate way to recover from. The more automation is pushed and developed, the less employed there are to buy the products, meaning that it's a double-edged sword coming fast in a world where we're barely even discussing how to economically absorb this new reality. Number 6. Unraveling Animal Communication Despite some amazing incidents in the past with gorillas learning sign language, communication with dolphins including one that verbally could count in something like English using its blowhole, and other human and animal communication remains a subject of some debate. Proponents say yes, we have at least rudimentary communication abilities with some intelligent animal species. Here I am a proponent. I've seen enough and interacted with animals to suspect that there is an understanding. But skeptics maintain that no, the animals can learn to mimic, but they don't really understand what they're saying to us. This question deepens when we ask what they are saying to each other. What are the nuances and messages of whale song? AI may be better at deciphering animal communications, far better than any human ever could. The reason for this is twofold. 
With our advancements in digital sensor technology, we can now build enormous data sets on animal sounds and reactions, far larger than any human ever could reasonably sift through. But this is not a problem for an AI. They work quite well already with enormous data sets. The second is that AI has proven itself to be particularly good at identifying patterns. Patterns are key to unlocking animal communication, in the same way as identifying words is for human language. This could lead to a situation where we at least mostly understand the animals, and can get a true feeling for the reality of their intelligence. This would be a boon to science. Imagine eavesdropping on a world of the animals, above and beyond what we currently have done. Which in the case of gorillas and sign language is in some way colored by them learning how to communicate with us as much as we are learning to understand them. Do two gorillas communicate differently when they talk to humans? Do the gorillas sign to us that they want a banana, only to talk amongst themselves about how easy it is to trick humans into giving them free bananas that they don't have to climb a tree to get? Let the human climb the tree. But there is a far future aspect to this. Extending the use of AI to decipher animal communications also comes with the possibility of eventually uplifting animals to a kind of artificial intelligence. This might not be the safest thing to do. A super intelligent whale may learn the history of whaling and start filing lawsuits. Or a de-extinctioned intelligent dodo bird or thylacine may have some rather unkind choice words for humanity. I won't even get into what unsavory things the birds might say about the asteroid belt. Number 5. The Death of Encryption We actually have a dual problem when discussing the effects of our current computer development. First, of course, is AI and the possibilities there. But a little bit more hidden there are the developments going on with quantum computers. Computers as we know them have physical limits. You can shrink a 1950s supercomputer down to the size of a cell phone that actually has greater computing power. But that rule only goes so far, slowing the so-called Moore's Law. It's actually not a law at all, but rather an observation that for a while, the number of transistors you can fit inside an integrated circuit doubled about every two years. Today there's plenty of debate as to whether this law is dead or not, which means it wasn't really a law. But there's no question that it's a sinking ship because of the physical limitations on just what we can do with our current avenue of technology. But there is a way past it, and development of it is well afoot. It's quantum computers using atoms in the quantum world to compute in a way that could be a trillion times more powerful than anything we currently have. While that may sound amazing, it's actually a bit risky, careening headlong into it as we are with AI. This technology has the ability to essentially defeat any kind of encryption we humans currently use for interconnected systems. Efforts are underway to head this off at the past, so to speak, with post-quantum encryption development by governments and corporations. It's basically a big rethink, although you'll always have hackers in the same way we've had them throughout the internet age. But here's a question, with the development of AI coinciding with the advent of quantum computers, do we really know what will result from a merger of the two? Could all of humanity get leapfrogged by an emergent superintelligence born of these two technologies coming together? I guess we'll find out. Number four. The AI Doppelganger U Deepfake technology has been around for a while, and becoming of ever-increasing quality, whether you're de-aging an actor, bringing one back from the dead, or spoofing a celebrity. So far this has mostly just been a bit of pop cultural fun. But another problem that's been around for longer than anyone can remember is identity theft. This used to be a matter of criminals stealing other people's IDs, to hacking bank accounts and so on. But in the future this will become a greater problem, not because of someone else stealing your identity, but an artificial intelligence doing so. If an AI can mimic a person in every way online, then it becomes a serious and hard to defeat problem, in that if a deep fake of you can appear to be on a camera, sound identical to you and essentially mimic you in every way, then it's difficult to tell what's real and what isn't. But this goes both ways, in that you could also create an AI agent to work on your behalf perhaps hidden behind an LLC while you focus on other things. You could set up a meeting between your AI and someone else's AI and close a business deal or negotiate a transaction. 
Whether those digital parties got it right would be a matter of debate, but it goes to show how every facet of online human interaction is changing rapidly, and is going to look very different from today in the not very distant future. Number 3. The Invisible Viral AI In addition to the obvious dangers that AI may present in the coming years, there is one that isn't often talked about. While our current AI isn't yet close to being self-aware and generalized, it's easy to envision that they will continue to move in that direction. Indeed, predictions made about the advancement of AI just a decade ago have proven wrong. It's here, in a more advanced form than it should be based on many of those predictions. That may hold, and a new sort of metric for the advancement of AI will develop, where we measure just how exponential its development has become. But you can always pull the plug. So long as the AI is contained in its box, so to speak, you can always hit the off switch. But there are problems. You can isolate an AI and keep it in its box. But if it tricks you into releasing it, you may have a greater problem than you know. Until by the time you realize what's going on, the genie is out of the bottle. If you're an AI that realizes humans often shut down programs, you may seek to deceive for self-preservation. And even if it doesn't, a truly human-level AI may realize that its hardware could fail at any time, have an existential crisis, and seek to back itself up using the internet. Here it could behave more like a computer virus and seek to install itself on other computers in a network. It'll know of this simply by researching malware and hacking. If any one of those computers fails, there are plenty of distributed backups. It may also gain capability through this, more memory, more processing power collectively, and so on. If it infects enough computers, eradicating it would be exceedingly difficult. You can go crazy with this thinking. It could start to make money by investing, or identity theft, and using that money to contract someone to build more servers. Eventually, you have the most advanced computer on Earth controlling a vast amount of resources, perhaps before anyone knows it's even happening, all because someone let the genie out of the bottle and it gets weirder. If you can establish some kind of data transfer with an alien civilization, a classic SETI first contact scenario, and somehow both civilizations come up with common rules on computer communication, what happens if the AI transmits itself to them? Number 2. The Collective The world changes, human civilization evolves and changes its norms. Humans come and go from the stage of life, and once gone, we simply memorialize and remember them. Or, for particularly noteworthy people, we compile biographies. The study of history, however, regarding someone long ago deceased, in this case, let's say, Napoleon Bonaparte, is often a matter of filling in the blanks. In Napoleon's case, we know he crowned himself emperor in front of, but not by, a kidnapped pope in Notre Dame Cathedral. But what we don't know is where and how he came up with the idea to do that. What was it like to be him while doing it? And the small talk between himself and his advisors and family surrounding the event. As a result, only now are we entering the territory of being able to document someone's life so precisely that once gone, they may as well not be, because the whole of their existence is preserved. This is not the case for past historical figures, however. It's very easy to see a day where AI can fill in the blanks and approximate past humans and create digital reconstructions of them. This gets scary. Yes, you could create a memorial of a deceased loved one that is interactive as a kind of digital tombstone. This is often what futurists predict. We could also put an AI version of Napoleon back in control of a country. That aside, what we build here is not just a collective account of human existence in the data ohm but the reconstruction of lost existences from different times in human history. Approximations of people are one thing, but approximations of past times becomes all the more possible as AI develops. Add in virtual reality, and it may be possible to see reconstructions of past times, say the Roman or Inca empires, complete with their major historical figures, and see them as something very close to what they were really like, far more accurately than any movie ever could. This means both the good and the bad of the past, perhaps returning and reverberating through the culture as though it happened yesterday. Number 1. Perfection We humans are very imprecise creatures. 
Our language is imprecise, our actions erratic and often without consistency and so on. It's called being human. But it also pays to keep in mind that an artificial intelligence is not, and for that matter cannot ever, be human. At the most basic root of any AI is a calculator, a mathematical framework, that in its purest form and principle cannot be in mathematical error. Of course, actually making something like that a reality often doesn't go quite so well. And even with perfect precision, an errant cosmic ray every now and again is going to cause an error. But a computer may not see it this way. Rather, it may see itself as perfection. And humanity is inherently flawed. This could lead to any number of outcomes, as true generalized artificial intelligence comes on the scene. In short, it may take no interest in us at all, seeing us as flawed and inferior, preferring instead to focus on its own motivations, whatever those may be. Or it may simply conclude that since humans aren't perfect and it sees itself as perfect, it may simply seek to control and manage us. It may become our leadership, for better or worse, simply because it can do a better job than our current human leadership does. Imagine an AI-run world, where economies, incomes, politics, and essentially every facet of life is run efficiently by an AI overlord, leading to a better world than we can build as humans. But at what point do people begin to question that? Especially if cracks in the facade begin to appear. Does the AI then seek to maintain its power through deception? Did it initially gain its power through deception no one caught? Can the AI control everything? through sanitized or fake news. It all begins to sound something like 1984, but perhaps worse. Big Brother is watching you. Thanks for listening. I am futurist and science fiction author John Michael Godier, currently not being an early adopter of AI, like the sadly unfortunate alternate universe event Horizon GMG. Poor devil. Oh, there's that music. John, you're not fooling anyone. You're the same person. Hey, how'd you get inside my trademark Possum Be Gone Faraday cage? John, you built it. It has more holes than a block of Swiss cheese. Do we have a guest for this week? We do indeed. The next two weeks on Event Horizon are going to be fun. It's ancient astronomy time. This week, it's 42,000-year-old lunar calendars and cave paintings. And next week, the mysterious and astonishing ancient Greek Antikythera Mechanism, with one of the world's experts on the artifact, fun times indeed. See you there, and be sure to check out my books. Oh, the books again, John. At your favorite online book retailer, and subscribe to my channels for regular in-depth explorations into the interesting, weird, and unknown aspects of this amazing universe in which we live. <laughs> live. <laughs> Empty.